Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Liz and Lou. Today's video is our 10,000 subscriber special video where I answer all your questions. So if you're new to my channel, I'm usually making videos with this guy. This is my Australian cattle dog, Louie. I know a lot of you guys like to see Lou in the video, so I try and get him propped up nice, but you know, he might leave us throughout the video. <laughs> I got him a little pillow, but he doesn't seem too thrilled with this position. <laughs> So if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. So we want to thank all of you guys who have subscribed to our YouTube. I can't believe that we're at 10,000 subscribers. I remember when I had my first 100 subscribers and I was so happy. So to see that we've gotten to this point is just crazy to me. And I obviously owe it all to you guys who like, who share, who comment on these videos. And of course, just watch them. You are the reason we are at this point you're the reason for Lou and I's channel to be the successful YouTube channel that it is so for today's video I'm gonna answer these questions that you guys have messaged me on Instagram and also I pick some from YouTube as well okay so question one is from SKF underscore Ranger 19 on Instagram and he said how did you deal with the biting at the puppy stage um, and when I read this I was honestly like I didn't even deal with it. I ignored it and it went away. He grew out of it. Um, if he did go to bite us, um, we would ignore him, take your hand away, stop playing, say no, um, things like that. And they grow out of it quickly. Some dogs might prolong this and keep biting, keep the puppy biting happening. And you just have to be consistent with your training and it should go away. Question two is from Ray J on Instagram. If I butcher your name, guys, I'm sorry. I'm trying my best. Um, so this question says, favorite place we've visited so far? Um, so, so far in my life, I think I'm going to take that question like that um, because our road trip has just started. We're in our like first destination, so I can't really say it for this trip. But for my entire life, I think, yeah, my favorite place is Oregon. I really love the state of Oregon. It's beautiful. Um, they're my type of people there. And yeah, that's my favorite. So this question is from L Sweetie. And she asked, what's the hardest part about being on the road slash traveling in an area you're not familiar? So my answer for this would be just feeling unsafe um, when you don't know the area, you don't necessarily know all the places you can go for help like if you just dropped in a town that you're unaware of you don't know where the nearest hospital is things like that and just not knowing the type of people that live there um, scares me a bit we take a lot of measures to ensure that we're safe we have our whole back wall um, nobody can get past this this is like a giant wall um, when you open the doors you see the wall so like you can't get in the back of our van we also have a locked door in the front we lock all of our doors and we have the best security dog ever um, so that makes us feel pretty safe the fourth question is from Jessie Lee 616 on Instagram and she asked how much Lou weighs and how old is he now because my blue healer is looking a bit too skinny Louie was definitely like that when he was young so Louie is three years old and he is 61 pounds and I'd say in the past year he has beefed up tremendously. He used to be skinny when he was young and I thought the same thing. I'd look at older healers and think wow they're really beefy like is my dog a mix? Is he too small or whatever? Um, but yeah Louie's beefed up a lot um, in the past year and I honestly don't know how tall he is but I literally have a I'm going to right here so we kind of can, can measure him right now. Louie, come here. Come here. Up, up, up. Come here. Up, up, up. Come on. He says, oh my God, really? Louie, come on. Up, up, up. Here. So how tall he is? <laughs> oh, it's not focusing. He literally just plopped right down. Here, stand up. Stand up. Come on. Up, up. Up, up. All right. Treats. Oh, we don't have any. I'm just gonna get a little piece of granola. Here, come here. Over here. Up, up. Stand. Up. Oh my god. The top of the shoulder is, um, yeah, like 21. So he's 21 inches tall. So what is that? Like a foot and what, like two feet? Wait. 
<laughs> Almost two feet. Yeah, so he's three years old. He's 61 pounds and from the ground to his shoulder He is 21 inches tall <laughs> Okay, so the next question is from a tech lovers dream on Instagram on Instagram and the question is does Lou ever mix up commands or completely decide not to do what you ask? And yes, he does this all the time. Um, a lot when I want him to go down, he'll sit instead because that's what he prefers. So he'll just sit um, and then he thinks, Louis, sit, sit, come on, down. Um, so he does that a lot and he also ignores commands a lot. If he's distracted, he will ignore a command. Um, and then sometimes he just chooses to ignore the command. I think it's really common for healers to have selective hearing and to only listen. Louis, <laughs> come here, come. Go on. Go on, come on. All right. Uh, only listen when they want to listen because they are stubborn dogs and they are very smart so they do make the choice of whether they want to do something for you or not. Um, but if you have treats, Louis will definitely do whatever you ask him to do. He's very, very food um, driven. So next question is from Bergie underscore baby. And they ask, would you think about getting another dog in addition to Lou, healer or other breed? Yes, I want another dog. We definitely don't have the space for another dog. We're living in the van, so I wouldn't get another dog anytime soon, but if we did, it probably would be Nick's dog, and I think he wants a girl, and I do too. Just to have another type of dog, I've always had guy dogs, so. So Nick wants to rescue a healer from a shelter, um, or get maybe a corgi. The corgis are pretty similar to healers. They're another herding breed, and we both think they're really cute so we might end up getting a corgi it just depends because I think we really do want to adopt there's a lot of dogs in shelters and um, yeah it just would be nice to have a dog that's already potty trained too an older dog that maybe even is Lou's age so that they can play together um, but yeah who knows maybe we'd end up adopting a puppy we'll just wait and see so our next question is from Indy the Red Healer on Instagram and they asked I've heard that healers don't get along with other healers. Is that true? I honestly think that they would get along better because they have the same amount of energy. They're the same type of dog. Um, they play the same. I feel like blue healers play a little rough. Maybe that's just Lou. But they're the same size, so they're a good match together when they play. Um, if you had a big and a little dog, they can't really play together because they're, you know, the big dog's going to hurt the little dog. But they match up nice. I think they would be good together. So our next question is from Troy L. Sweeney on Instagram and their question is what type of food does Lou eat? So I feed Louis for health from Tractor Supply. I usually get him the turkey and potato flavor. Right now we're we're eating <laughs> we're eating. Louis is eating the salmon and it's like salmon and potatoes, yeah. He's been on Four Health for months now and he seems to like it. He really likes the turkey and potato one. Um, they're pretty all natural and they're also affordable. So I know there's some controversy over grain-free food, that it might be bad for the dogs, um, but I haven't seen any problems with Lou. I've also seen other articles that um, go against it, so it's like, I don't know, I'm just trying to make the best decision and he seems to like it and he's had no problems with it, so... Uh, we're gonna stick to it. Another good thing about buying from Tractor Supply is the fact that we travel a lot so it's nice to go places where we can get the same food for Lou um, and not have to you know be switching his food a lot so we can keep the same food and travel anywhere we want. Okay so the last question is from YouTube and it's from Concoctions by Katie. She asked, maybe you've mentioned this before but how do you learn so much about training dogs? I love watching you and Lou. Well, thanks for watching us, Katie. So I honestly don't know much about training dogs, but I look things up and I figure out what works best for Lou, and that's what I share with you guys. Um, I'm constantly looking at YouTube, other YouTube videos about training dogs and reading articles and also books. And I know these dogs can be really hard to train, so I like to share what I've learned with you guys so I can help you guys out. Because when I first got Lou and he was acting like 
a blue healer axe, you know. Um, I was so scared and I had nowhere to go. There was no information out on blue healers, um, very dated stuff and really nothing about training the type of dog that they are. Um, so I figured if I put stuff out, people would watch it and I ended up really enjoying what I do on YouTube and what I do for Lou because the YouTube is literally all about Lou and um, I love connecting with you guys and your cattle dogs. Alright guys, so that's about it for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and please comment below any extra questions you have um, and your reactions to these questions. Subscribe. I can't believe we're at 10k. Thank you all for watching our videos and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!